My name is uh, Joan Mazimhaka. I am the co-founder and CEO of Illum Creative Studio. Our company has been in business for 10 years now. Um, my background is in psychology and tourism studies, and I studied in Canada and in South Africa. Illum Creative Studio came about 10 years ago. We were interested in creating content that supported a new narrative of Rwanda. Our main vision was to create um, content that would change what you see when you Google Rwanda and Africa. So we had been seeing content around um, Rwanda that was mostly focused on the guerrillas and on the genocide, and we knew that the Rwanda was growing and there was much more to see from here. So our vision was to create the visuals that, you, that change that narrative, and then it grew to not only Rwanda, but Africa as well. We have five co-founders and we all had different backgrounds, so people were stronger in marketing, in social media marketing, in photography, video, and content creation, and we built teams around that. At the moment, we have a team of about six, and then we work a lot with a lot of different creatives, freelancers in the country, so we pride ourselves on building a network of other photographers, of other videographers, graphic designers, and content creators, so that we are not only building things out of the house that is Illum, but also helping um, other creatives grow and work together on bigger projects. When we first started, there weren't um, any communications agencies around. There were marketing and advertising companies that were very strong and doing a great job. And that's usually about selling a product and advertising around a product or campaign. For us with communications, it's more about the public relations, the brand development, the storytelling around a brand, a product, event, or an individual. And so we were among the first to do that. And so at the beginning, it was a bit difficult to convince people of who we are and what we wanted to do. And then over time, as we got more experience, people could see what it is that we were doing, and they were more engaged with what we did, and they started hiring us for more jobs. And then we started also seeing the creative industry growing. Um, I think before us, there weren't too many people who thought they could make a career out of being a photographer. Um, and, so, and so we saw a lot of young people now seeing that it was possible. And one of the most exciting changes for us also is to see a lot of women in photography also coming up. We've recently been doing workshops before COVID happened for women photographers in particular because people didn't think they were really there and they, they are. And so we love to see how the creative industry is growing. We really focus a lot on collaboration with our peers and with younger creatives so that we can really build the creative industry in the country. Yeah, looking back over the 10 years, I think we have achieved a lot of the goals that we had started out to do. We wanted to change the creative landscape, and I believe we've done that. But I think a lot of our goals are still ongoing. We're very excited to move beyond Rwanda also to other African countries, and we have some wonderful people we're collaborating with. But I think this 10 years has been very exciting. It's definitely full of ups and downs, but it's been really worth the journey. I think some of the challenges initially were just trying to get people to understand why, what the value of communication was, communication was around their brand. They needed to value why they were storytelling about what it is that they were promoting, selling, or working on. And so it was up to us to convince people to do something that they had never done before and to trust us with their brand. Um, and so some the opportunities also came from that as well because we've been able to work with a wide variety of people if it's NGOs, if it's, if it's within the Rwandan government, but private sector as well, um, international organizations, but also musicians and artists and festivals. So it's been a great opportunity to be as diverse as possible with what we can do. For the next 10 years, we're really excited about expanding beyond the Rwandan and East African borders. We've been working in other countries, in Southern Africa and West Africa as well. So the big thing for us is to continue this, um, this exciting image that has come from Rwanda and apply it across other countries. So we have wonderful people we've collaborated with and we love collaborating with other African firms, other African creatives and talent so that we're telling the full African story. So what's coming up for us in the next 10 years is to expand not only across borders but even as a company. So we recently started a second arm of Illum that's Illum Editions. It's a publishing house and so we published our first book, This is Rwanda, out of our own publishing house and then we have others that we have started and are, are coming up. And then we have our agency that's doing work specifically for clients and then our studio side which is bringing out more creative projects from Illum. So over the next 10 years you'll see more creative projects come out 
from us specifically, not only for clients. I think it's very important for entrepreneurs to understand during this difficult time of COVID, yes. um, it seems like things are actually very challenging and difficult to get out of. And most, most people are actually having a hard time. But it's, it's important to know that there are things that are, they are not lasting. So if the first version of your business is not doing well in this time, think about how you would change it, how you would pivot, how you can grow again from something because the country is really ready to support um, businesses right now. And so it's important to jump on that and not get weighed down by what has happened, but look forward to the future with what's possible.